Okay, so I know making backing cards can be a little bit intimidating, but today I'm going to talk about the three things that you must include on all of your enamel pin backing cards. I'm going to show you some examples of different types, and at the end, I've got a download for templates that you can use for different sizes of backing cards. So stick around to the end and let's get into it. Okay, number one, you have to have your logo. Duh. You want to have your branding on there. You want your backing cards to be easily definable. You want everyone to know that this is your card. This is your pin. This is, you want it to be easy for them to know that it's you. So always, always include your logo and incorporate any other kind of branding so that people can tell that it's you. So for this example, I've got Sprinkle Bat, logo right on top. She's got a fun circle, so the background isn't too busy, but she's got her, all her own colors. And it's very, you just definitely know that this is a Sprinkle Bat pin. And then Northern Spells, too. You can see logo right on top. That's pretty standard. She's got a spot to put the pin and a fun background that doesn't distract. Cute, right? So always include your logo. <laughs> Alright, number two is your website. You want people to know exactly where they can find more pins because they love this one so much. So just like you want it to be easy for them to tell who you are, you want it to be really easy for them to tell where to get more. So pretty much everyone will include theirs on the bottom. That's pretty standard too. Here's another good one from Lux Cups. They have theirs, luxcups.com, right at the bottom. Super easy. Always, always put your website on there because you want them to buy more pins. And last, you want to include your social media links. So a lot of enamel pin folks are on Instagram. It's kind of where we hang out. So I always include my Instagram at the Pink Samurai at the bottom so they can get in touch with me, get to know me a little bit more, and see all the new stuff that I've got going on. And there are just like these. Let's see, we've got Sprinkle Bat Northern Spells use the logo, the little Instagram icon, to show exactly where to find them, which I think is pretty great. And then Unicorn Crafts has a square card in logo website. Um, website and social is on the back, actually, so you can see all the social media links of where she hangs out. So, always have logo, website, and social media on your cards. I like to keep mine on the front because my backs are blank. It was just cheaper that way for me. I think it's fun. I added a little hang tag so it can use them in retail shops as well. Personal preference, you don't have to do that. Um, and some people like to do the back. So like Lux Cups and Unicorn Crafts, they both have info on the back, which I think is really fun. There's a little note from Libby and John here, and then more information at the bottom. And then Unicorn Crafts has all her information at the top and continues her design element from the front, which I think is really fun. So there are lots of different ways to make cards. So I like to have... Um, I have my branding as a light pink. I also have a white card, a dark pink card, because I love having a little gradient moment. <laughs> so when I display them, it looks really cute. I'll include a picture of what it looks like. Um, what it looked like when I did Blue Genie right here. Thought it was really fun. So just varying degrees of pink because my brand is very pink. <laughs> and I can make the pins stand out a little bit more on different cards. So I think that's fun. But they're all still the same basic design, just different colors. And I also have a series of gnome pins that I put on a black card. And those are special ones that I designed with my husband, Andy Helms of OK Totally. 
you can see our socials right there. Um, and I wanted these to stand out from my other pins so they get a black card. So um, an interesting way to do it, just to mix it up, keep it the same but different. There are some folks though, like Unicorn Crafts, let me show you hers. She has a different design for each pin, which I think is fabulous. So I have this feminine feminist unicorn pin and it's in just a little rainbow sky in the clouds. Isn't that cute? And then her mermaid pin is underwater. And then you saw this one before. This one has motifs from Sailor Moon in there. Whoop. <laughs> Um, but you can see the backs are duplicated, which I think is really cute. So that's a fun way, but all of her colors are very similar. Her branding still stands out. Her color palette works really well together. So it's still very much her, but then singular to the pins. So I think that's really fun. Okay, so no matter what you decide to do, whether you want to make individual backing cards for each pin, whether you want to make one design for everything or variations on one design to mix it up, you should always include logo, website, social, so people can know who you are, where to buy more, and where to find out more and talk to you more regularly. So keep that in mind. If you want to download some templates, I have those down below. I have a template for a regular business card size, which is these. So these are both regular business card sizes, so you can see the template for that. I've also got one for a square size, if you'd rather go for a square template. And I have one for a two and a half by three and a half size, which is one of my first kinds. So notice I have all my info on this too, just in different spots. So I also have links to my favorite plastic sleeves or compostable plastic if you'd rather, which I prefer. So check the links down below. I've got all kinds of downloadable templates, goodies, links, all that stuff. So be sure to like and subscribe if you're into pins just like me. I have lots of other pen tutorials and I have more to come. So feel free to hang out and I will see you in the next one. Bye.